This year's Carol's Door Award at the 76th Film Festival went to Mali Suleiman Sisse, the veteran director credited with reinventing film as an African art form. He believes that censorship and contempt prevents the release of African films in major Western cinemas. This Western censorship is very serious. It amounts to content. And I say this to the distributors. There are films that could be seen in cinemas. They don't do it simply because they don't want to put African image on the same level as others. That's a shame. The two African films competing for the Palm d'Or are directed by women, joining a sizable young representation from the continent that has fueled speculations of African cinema, finally experiencing its Cannes moment. I don't think I can give lessons to the new generations. All I can say is that it is in our interest to move cinema forward because when we make good films, I'm sure that this censorship in distribution will break down. CISA's masterpiece was firmly grounded in reality and sent a strong political message that was reflective of his earlier socio realistic works, such as his debut future of Denso Musso which was released in 1975 and was inspired by his training in the Soviet Union in the 1960s. If we were lucky enough to have seen elsewhere, that's what happened at the Cannes Film Festival, and nobody imagined it at that time, in 1987. That's what is interesting. It was an opening. We thought it would continue, but unfortunately it didn't. This year's festival sees Cannes break its undistinguished record for female directors vying for the Palme d'Or, with seven women among the 21 filmmakers in the race.